Hi, welcome to A2Z Knowledge videos and today we are going to discuss about uh, uh, why and when I used Hbase and in this video I am not going to explain you the uh, the complete merits and demerits of Hbase or complete use cases kind of thing. I am going to tell you why exactly I used Hbase for a particular case. Okay, so that will be very helpful for you and uh, before getting into this uh, topic I am I have shared all my big data playlist link in the description box of this video please go ahead and have a look and I have started a new YouTube channel called startup idea I'm I'm just please do support us for that new channel as well yeah now we can and I have shared that link in the description box of this video and now we can jump into the topic so I will just give you an outline of this uh, thing uh, so I have a source and that source comes from the MySQL database which is an RDBMS okay so now uh, I will be reading this tables in spark and i will do all type of an uh, etl transformations and finally i will be loading the data to hive okay so now i'm reading a table uh, a imagine and then i'll do all the transformations here uh, in the source table a and then i will be finally loading the table into hive in the name as a1 just imagine i'm just loading it in this way and finally the downstream will be using this a1 table for all their reporting purpose okay so downstream will be using here this table and now there is an another case I want to read a next table called B and then I have to do a lookup uh, in the spark so I re I'm, I'm reading a I'm reading the table B in spark and then I have to do a lookup with a1 which is the target table which I have already loaded in hive so uh, this way of lookup so imagine I want to do a lookup between a and B in the source via spark and that is different okay that is different so what I'm doing now is I will read the data from spark the B table B and then I have to do the lookup on the fly with the target table what got loaded already in hive okay it's a target lookup so in this case uh, hive is slow okay so it's it's it, it means in my case hive was very slow and the target lookup was not completing as expected even we do partition even we do bucketing we do all kind of stuff performance optimization and everything the lookup was not optimized by that time so here hbase entered into picture so uh, only two things what I noticed with Hbase is Hbase is very faster with respect to lookups and then Hbase is wonderful with respect to upsert. So upsert like insert and update happens at the same time. So if I'm I'm loading a data today one comma Gautam and then tomorrow it's like uh, for the same one row number the name has been updated to Saravanan and what happens here I don't want to manually update or uh, Hbase will not maintain two records what it internally do it will just update the previous record and then it will have the new one. So that happens automatically. So insert and update if it is a new record insert if it is an old record update and that's called upsert and lookup. Yeah. So lookups are very very faster with respect to Hbase. So here uh, the slight changes uh, I have done with the use case. So now uh, from the MySQL I am just reading the table B and A. Okay let's go for the first scenario. A and then I am doing all the transformation with Spark and then I am loading the target to two places. I'm, now it's two target for me. So A1 uh, in Hive, A1 and HBase, and and I'm yeah. You can ask me. You're taking a copy of it. Uh, I means uh, you you are maintaining one more copy of it. Yes, of course, yes. So here the problem is not. Uh, so for me the problem is not with respect to the space or occupying uh, again a copy of the target. So that is not at all a problem for me. My concern is only the lookup has to be get faster, and that's the only thing for me. Okay, and th that's why I told you this is a case what I I'm, I'm I have done, and uh, which was running in my mind but you can alter this based on your use cases and your approaches okay fine so now I'm, I'm reading the table B and then now uh, while reading the table B in spark I will be doing a lookup with hbase not with hive so I'll be doing a lookup with a1 and I'm reading a B from here and then I will be doing a lookup with that table a1 and now the lookups are very faster so now the final table uh, so I'm reading the data from B then do I did a lookup with a1 and the final table will be get loaded in high only okay c1 imagine the c1 is the output for the lookup of a and b uh, the the combination of a and b I did a lookup and the final output is c1 so at any point of time the reporting team will use only the tables in hive not in hbase so hbase is something we can consider as an internal use we don't want to expose this to any other teams it's not required because it's completely for the lookup purpose right so uh, this is uh, some approach which was there in my mind and uh, you can even think through 
and you can if you think that any other better solution is there you can even specify that in the comment box so that others will come to know if you have any doubts or uh, you you see something uh, what i said is wrong or correction required you can we can discuss that in the comment box as well and thanks for watching a2zknowledge.com please do uh, subscribe channel and forward this to your friends and colleagues i have given my linkedin and instagram url in the description box and uh, uh, please do support us so that uh, in future like uh, you will be getting more videos so that will be get notified when you click the bell icon yeah thanks for watching